What is up YouTube? Welcome to Panfro Games and today's video I'm going to be showcasing how to max your IVs on your Pokemon who are not level 100 yet in Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl patch 1.1.2. So normally you need to have a Pokemon that's already level 100 to have perfect IVs. But we're going to be doing this with a Pokemon that is under level 100 and can be levels 1 to 99. It will all work the same. And we're going to be doing it on our Gallade here. So as you can see the IVs on my Gallade are not great and none of them are best and we're going to get our Gallade stats to best so the setup for this is one you need to have a pokemon who is level 100 but does not have perfect ivs already so this flygon's fine it does not have six perfect ivs so we can actually still use bottle caps to it number two you need to have some bottle caps bottle caps can be won from the battle tower by using battle points and i have a lot of uh, bottle caps and the reason is because i kept on cloning them so as long as you have one bottle cap, you can turn that into two, into four, into eight, so on and so forth. And after a lot of cloning, you'll have enough to make all your Pokemon perfect for competitive play. You can also use gold bottle caps too, but those are a lot harder to get. And currently not in the game, you would need to find it from someone who's using like PK Hex. But legitimate bottle caps do work right now. So once you have at least one bottle cap, you can do this. And if you want to see where I grabbed Jugs function to see the different IV stats on my Pokemon, you can actually do it by going into the back of the battle area and talking to this guy in the right corner and he'll give us the jugs function. So now that we have all our prep ready, and last thing I do wanna mention, the position of your Pokemon is important. So you do wanna have your level 100 Pokemon to be second in your party and then the Pokemon that you want to get perfect IVs who's not level 100 to be first in your party. So that is pretty important. But now that we've gotten all the prerequisites out of the way, we can actually set this up. But first we gotta do the fly menu glitch. So one, we're just gonna go into the Pokemon Center and just set up our positioning. And then we're gonna walk right out, just so we're right in front of the Pokemon Center. And now we're gonna hit R to load up our hidden moves Pokétech app. We're gonna hit R again to make it big, move the cursor over fly, and then we're gonna spam R and A at the same time until we get the fly menu. Then we're gonna hit up on our left stick when we get it, and we'll be able to walk into the Pokemon Center. So you hear that, I was able to walk into the Pokemon Center. So that left stick only works when you are actually on the fly menu map. So now in the Pokemon Center, we want to hit two up on the D-pad. One, two, then six to the right on the D-pad. One, two, three, four, five, six. And these are hard presses. And now that we're down to Escalator, we're going to hit once on the D-pad to the right. So one hard press. And now we're going to hit five to the left. So one, two, three, four, five, then two down one two and now we are outside of the pokemon center so now we can actually do the fly glitch so you want to use the right stick to fly in place so hover over your face on the map then we're gonna hit a and x i do have my text set to fast so this is really quick for me but this works best for me you can do it however you want but my timing is i'm literally going to be a then x like half a second so a x then hit a again to fly in place that last a can be slow you can take all the time in the world to hit that last a all that matters is hitting a and then x pretty quickly and now that we have the menu glitch up, we're gonna do the IV glitch. So we're gonna go back past through here, past the Pokemon Center. And now we're gonna actually go to the set of buildings to the left and right. Doesn't matter which door you go to. We go to the right door. We're gonna go up the stairs. And a little bit hard to see with this menu. And we're gonna have to do some positioning here. So if you hit R to save, don't actually save, but you can see most of your screen now. And we wanna get right next to this guy. He is the IV person and we want to be next to the pc as well but we want us to be facing the wall we don't want to be facing him or the pc we want to be facing the wall to make sure this works out and then on the screen you just hit b to go back to your regular menu so at this point we're going to be using the right stick to navigate the menus because we do not want to move our character at all and mess this up so i'm going to use the right stick to go to pokemon we're going to hit r to go to boxes and as you can see here we have our Gallade and flygon and there's a bunch of pokemon doesn't matter what Pokemon are in the boxes. All that matters is you have your level 70 or whatever Pokemon is first and your level 100. The most important thing is the level 100 Pokemon is second that does not already have all perfect IVs. You want to hit the left stick and go right. So we're just going to keep going right with the left stick until we get over our Pokemon. And now we're going to hit Y to go to quick swap. So this is going to allow us to quickly swap our Pokemon. And we're actually going to be doing two menus at once here. So I'm going to hit A. So this actually initiates the conversation with the guy. The reason why we use the left stick and to go right and hold right all the way is because now our character was facing the IV man. And when we hit A, 
it actually grabbed the Pokemon and now we're talking to Ivy Man at the same time. So in this menu, we actually just want to use the right stick here and go down one and then hit A to confirm and this is actually going to flip our Pokemon together. And now we're going to hit A again to go to yes. And now this is going to load up his IV menu. And now we're just going to go hit left on our left stick, go to Flygon, hit A on Flygon, hit select. And would you like to use a bottle cap or a gold bottle cap? Now you want to hit A and I'll pick up our Pokemon. Now, if you had both bottle caps and gold bottle caps, you can use the right stick and just use a bottle cap if you would like or a gold one, whatever option you want to hit. So we're going to hit A to use the bottle cap. And now we're going to hit up on the left stick and we're gonna flip the Gallade with the Flygon here. And now we switched it, and now you can see we are on Gallade's menu right here, and it's level 70, and none of the stats are uh, IV'd maxed up, and we can actually just hit A to max all of these stats if you have the bottle caps. And this is how we're gonna make Gallade into a perfect Pokemon who is not even level 100. And all the stats, we're training them up. And at the end of this menu, He's perfect now. So if you want, you can keep on training other Pokemon by doing this method. But for us, we're just going to back all the way out. And we can actually now look at our Pokemon and see that Gallade now has perfect IVs. Even though it didn't say on the last thing, now it says all its stats have been hyper trained. And now Gallade has 31 IVs and all six of its stats. And this is going to be great for a competitive Pokemon. You can see my competitive box here. And a lot of these have perfect IVs. I still got a bunch of work to do. But if you're going to play competitive Pokemon, you definitely want to do this. It's definitely going to save you a lot of time instead of getting all your Pokemon on level 100. And yeah, that's how you get max IVs on any Pokemon in Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe to the channel, and catch you guys next time. Peace out, and have a great one.